It's nice to bring back a brand that got a ukulele that gives you an alternative to the usual kids on the block. Keep watching. Yes, it's got a ukulele review day back as ever with the summary video review to complement the written review where you'll find more details below. Uh, thanks once again to those who donated last week to keep this site going. It is how it works. Uh, it's not brand sponsored. Um, and why not think about subscribing to the ukulele channel? Got a ukulele channel. Hit the subscribe button down there and the little bell symbol and you will get notifications of new content from me. Anyway, here we are. This is a brand I've featured several times before, but actually not for a few years now. And as I say, they are, they're one of those brands, a bit like Flights, that I consider to be a very useful addition to the ukulele ranges. Um, I can remember the times when it was really just Co Carla, Ohana and Lanika that you could buy, and then people like this came along. They've been around for a few years. The brand is called Snail, and this is the Snail S U T. M1 tenor ukulele and I think it's really really attractive and classy looking it's one of those that when I opened the box uh, and this has been loaned to me kindly by uh, Steve Helm at Red Chili Audio thank you Steve um, when I opened the box I hadn't actually looked at the specs so I didn't really know what it was and it was one of those that I looked at I thought this is a this is a high-end instrument but we'll read on um, because it looks that way and it's a mahogany bodied instrument but it is all laminate and that's two pieces of laminate on the top two pieces of laminate on the side two pieces of laminate on that really nice book matched back sorry about all the reflections because you can see the gloss on this is out of this world and i don't know what it was really because i can normally tell the sound hole isn't thick that the, the top wood isn't thick that was one of the things that led me to think it was solid. I get that in a laminate, the outer veneer can be anything, but this is really nice. The grain's really nice. The color is nice and rich and orange. The book matching is wonderful. Um, I really, really like the look of this one. Okay, so as I say, that's finished. I can't hide. An absolutely wonderful gloss. And I can't, there's no pooling. There's a bit of scruffiness around the edge of this fingerboard, but I'm being really picky. The bridge is that through body style Batman type logo that Snail use and one or two other brands that go, strings go through the body, you fish them out the sound hole, tie a knot or a bead on and pull them back. Uh, it's made of ebony wood, it's really tidy. The saddle is bone, I think, compensated on the top. Uh, decoration is mixed. I really like this classy wooden edge binding that doesn't have any purfling around the top, so it kind of makes it look, because it's the same sort of color as the top, kind of looks like it's folding over the top, and then you get the purfling line there, and you also get that on the back. I really like that. That's really classy, subtle, understated. They've put an abalone sound hole ring round. I suppose that wood would look too pale for the sound hole ring, but, you know, me inconsistency. Not too bad. Inside, very tidy, thin braces, notch linings, bit of wood shavings in the notching, no real glue mess at all, um, pretty tidy actually. And as I say, that sound hole top, uh, despite this being laminate, it's really, really thin, really, really tidy. The finish and everything down here is wonderful, I think. The neck is made of mahogany. There are two joints, one at the heel, one on the headstock, but they are really well hidden. It's a Far Eastern rounded profile. It's only an average 35 mil at the nut, 28 G2A. I'd like it a little bit wider, but that's just me personally. I've got very big hands. Um, the edges of the fingerboard are bound with more of the wood. Sorry, the light's making this hard to show you, but it really helps. You don't get any sharp fret ends. Uh, I like that, and that looks classy too. It's not stark, it's not bright white. The fingerboard, incidentally, is ebony and absolutely jet black and even in colour. And you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 frets to the body, 15, 16, 17, 18. Nice. Outward dots, 5, 7, 10, double at the 12th, one at the 15th. And you get white dots on the side too. Very good. Beyond that bone nut, the thing I like most about snails are their headstocks. Um, not only do I like the shape, but I love this sort of facing they put on, which is almost kind of chamfered off on the edges, so it gives it kind of a 3D effect. Also really glossy, as you can see, the snail logo is inlaid in a pale wood. I love these. The tuners are sealed gears, branded with the snail logo. 
they're unremarkable, but they work just fine. The strings are unspecified fluorocarbon. I think they might be Denarios. And you get really nice quality padded gig bag with shoulder straps. And the price for that, 165. That's really good. That's really good. This is a really nicely appointed instrument. Extremely well made, beautiful looking, classy looks. I can't find any flaws with it uh, at all. Um, and the other thing about snails are they are not carried well they may be carried by the big box shippers but they're also carried by the ukulele stores certainly in the uk at least that i trust uh, so that includes southern ukulele store uh, world of ukes places like that duke of uke in london carry them that's important that means that they've put their trust in the brand um it's really well made as i say i keep going on it's really light it's really well balanced really well balanced and really light <laughs> i'm repeating myself but let's tune it up and see what it sounds like because that's what it's all about oh hell as the clip on tuner falls to pieces right there we are now volume not um, the loudest ukulele I've ever played, but not a slouch. Good, not stellar. The sustain's really nice. I can feel that in my chest and up here, and it's going on and on and on and on. It's a bit brighter than I would like, but that's maybe that's a laminar thing. It's. It... But you know what? They're all really clear. Those notes. It's not money. That's nice. from the sound certainly a laminate tone to it but it's very very bright and bouncy and jangly and peppy attractive the strings are really thin gauge on this um, I'd probably try some heavier strings on it which might actually sort of warm it up a bit but they're very very thin I think the looks are great. I think the build quality and the finish are really good. Uh, the price, 165 quid, is very good. It's a really classy looking instrument. Um, I'd like to warm it up a bit. I think that could be done with a string change, but actually there's nothing wrong with the tone. It's a very pretty sound. Uh, Intonates well, plays well. The setup is very good on this model, um, but obviously those things can be adjusted. The Snail SUT M1 Tenor, available from the good ukulele specialist um, for about 165 quid gets a recommendation from me why wouldn't it uh, and thanks again to red chili audio for the loan of this one always a pleasure to look at snail instruments they're always a good alternative as i say there we are enjoy the rest of your weekend and i will be back next week uh, something very very cool coming i believe if the post doesn't let us down take care everybody see you soon Bye bye